My name is John McDonald and I came on board to TIB about four years ago. Uh, one of the principals, Reef Cacelli, invited me to come in and perform a management role. Uh, Reef and I have known one another for many years and uh, we've done quite a bit of um, training together, team management, leadership, communication training together, so we know one another well and I had no hesitation in joining Reef in his endeavours here. I know him to be a man of integrity and passion and um, the sort of guy that, that I felt I would feel very comfortable in working with. And since coming here, I guess the thing that's struck me most of all is the kind of relationship that we have with the, with the students here. We're absolutely committed to them achieving whatever it is that they're up for in life. And for some of them it's a trade qualification, for some of them it's a builder's registration license or whatever. But the thing that really um, turns me on is the fact that people are highly successful in getting employment and doing the sorts of jobs that they've been dreaming about doing for who knows how many years in some cases. Extraordinary achievements that we had in the last year or so have been the, um, the young people that have been part of our carpentry and bricklaying courses here at, at TIV. And um, the incredible um, results of employment. To think that like 15 months ago, there were upwards of 20 kids, most of whom were on a healthcare cart. If they were working at all, it would have been casual work and part-time and, 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 and very insecure. All but two of them are now working full-time in the industry. They're still doing their course, they're still acquiring their um, experience, but by June or July of this year, they'll be fully fledged as tradespeople. And they will go on to, many of them will work with the people that have already taken them on. They'll stay where they are. Some of them will, will emerge as subcontractors in their own right. And, um, you know, they're away and flying, and that's a, it's a great thing to see. If you have a look around this place, um, and you'll see the kind of investment that this organisation has put into providing first-class facilities. Everyone who comes here to visit us, to have a look around, is always highly impressed with what we've got here. And we're a small school, but we want to give all of our students the very best of everything that we can. And that includes the facilities and the simulated workplaces that they work in as well. Since I first joined, I, I, I was here for three days a week and um, I finished up as the CEO of the place. And uh, for me, that's a great honour. It means that, that the principals of, of TIV felt they had trust in me to help lead the organisation along with them. And it's been a, a great experience and it's a, it's a wonderful... I, I wake up in the morning looking forward to coming to work. That's true. And I've been working for an awful long time. <laughs> and uh, I even tried retirement once, but that didn't work. Um, I, I think that the, the, the feeling of the place, I think, is one of a family. We're small enough to be highly personal in the way in which we deal with one another. And it's not just us towards the students, but it's also the students with one another and the students back to us as well. Um, we're all here to achieve what those kids are up for and, um, and, and that lends itself I think to a, um, a really interesting and warm and inviting environment to be in. The thing that we're about is not the experience of being trained, it's what happens at the end of it. Do you or do you not get a job? And um, do you or do you not get a trade? Do you or do you not improve your position in life? That you, alter your chances for, for gains in life. And that's what I love to see. You know, I love to see young people come in here with a, uh, with a real intention. And sometimes their, their, their intentions can be, can be quite vague. They, they, I want to be up for something, but they're not quite sure what, you know? And by the time they leave here, whether it's six months, 12 months, or two years, you know, they're, they're mature people. They're ready to take their place in the, in the workforce, and they do. And uh, I just think that that's a wonderful achievement, yeah.